Hi, my name is Carl Spaulding and welcome to the Greatec Brim uh, Bridge Information Modeling or Bridge Information Management uh, Presentation Overview. Uh, the purpose of this exercise is to show how we can take a model with all of its loads uh, and, uh, and, and information uh, down the supply chain or down the design workflow uh, from the analysis and the functional design right through to the detail where BIM is, uh, you know, comes to life. Uh, in this uh, short uh, overview, you'll have a look at how we can uh, work up a model inside Superstress. Here we're adding some additional combinations and uh, we're also going to uh, add uh, extra live loading to this um, uh, pedestrian bridge that you can see in the, in the background. Um, and we'll, we'll run some analysis uh, on this, uh, have a look at some of the results. Um, and then take that model through into uh, a format or export it into a format that we can use in other systems. So the results in Superstress, if you're not familiar with the system, there's lots of videos available. You can have a look at that online. Uh, but these uh, results can be displayed as a graphical format. Uh, they can be uh, displayed in a tabular format. Uh, any way in which you, you, you feel uh, is, is beneficial to uh, manipulate the results, have a look at the results, or report on these results uh, for your particular type of project. And can also be filtered to create a variety of reports. Once we're happy with these uh, load cases and, and the results, uh, we're happy with the functionality of this particular type of uh, structure, we'll look at how we can export this into a number of different systems, main ones being Advanced Design, Revit, or Advanced Steel. So either let this video continue playing or select one of these programs to continue. Now let's take a look at uh, the import of this file into Advanced Design. So we navigate to where we saved that file, uh, open it up, and as you will see, you've got the exact same model uh, as you had in the previous uh, version. Um, and uh, with all the members, materials, all the grades have come through, sections, geometry, um, including some of the loading uh, and support information as well. Uh, what we're going to do is just isolate the roof um, and by doing that we'll add a plate element to this roof uh, so we can see really just how easy advanced design is to manipulate a model or build up uh, some of the additional components that you'll need for some of the uh, analysis that uh, you might want to take place in here uh, and we're going to move on to show some of the uh, climatic and, and uh, snow loading capabilities as well. So here we'll uh, show some of the uh, uh, copy and paste, uh, but equally we have some of these other simple CAD tools like uh, Trim and Extend. Um, and Advanced Design has a, a, a very uh, easy and, and powerful user interface that replicates or uses a lot of uh, the, the standard CAD commands as you would expect. This makes it very easy to complete uh, a model that might have come from another system or to indeed add uh, some additional uh, capability or functionality or faces to this uh, model that you might need for some more enhanced or high-end analysis. Advanced Design offers a number of design options such as EC2 for concrete, EC5 for timber and EC3 which we're going to uh, have a look at now. Uh, obviously it's a steel structure and that's the, uh, the, the design code we'll be using. Other high-end functionality includes haunches and eccentricities. Now let's show the whole model again so that we can start to build up uh, some additional uh, elements. In this case we're going to add some wind walls to the external faces that are going to be exposed to that loading so that we can take advantage of some of the climatic loading uh, to EC1 for snow and wind. Again, this uh, demonstrates just how easy it is to use advanced design and, of course, the intuitive user interface for adding additional uh, faces or, or components or elements into your model. And again, simple CAD commands like copy in this case can be used uh, to uh, copy those wind walls uh, throughout your model. So let's uh, isolate some of those wind walls to have a look at what we've created. Um, and it's again, simple uh, filtering tools to uh, to give us what we need. Let's change that to a shaded mode and have a look. There we go. So there's uh, our project with all of the wind walls created. Now that uh, that is complete, the wind loading can be added automatically 
as you can see you have a number of additional properties that can be changed depending on your loading requirement or simply selected by the location of the project the wind loading is generated automatically obviously the same process can be repeated uh, for the snow loading as well now that uh, the model is complete um, let's uh, run some analysis uh, as uh, as we did within uh, Superstress, but with uh, the added uh, extra components that we've um, we've created, such as uh, the wind walls, uh, and run some of the wind and snow loading, um, and look at the results of the different load cases uh, and combinations. Advanced Design is a very powerful uh, analysis tool. Uh, any of these results that uh, that you you've created, uh, and any of these combinations that you uh, you put together, uh, all of these views and, and images can be saved uh, to be included in uh, any of the the reports that you can create out of the system, and indeed compared with the maybe results you've achieved uh, previously. Making advanced design a very powerful tool indeed. Uh, you can, should you should you need to, uh, drill deeper down into um, you know, more of the analysis results um, for each of the single elements, um, as if you require. Right now that we've completed that model, let's uh, save this as a GTCX file, and again, same option as before: either let the video run or select your preferred platform. So let's take a look at that same GTCX file being imported into Revit using Greatech BIM Connect plugin, uh, freely available to download from our website. As you will see, uh, the entire model that we had uh, in Superstress and Advanced Design has been brought straight back into Revit, including all of the members, the grades, the property sizes, the beam sizes, um, and if we just switch that shaded mode, you'll see that the entire model has been imported accurately into, uh, into Revit. Now let's take a look at that same file being included in uh, Autodesk Advanced Steel. So Advanced Steel is uh, where we start to add all of the, uh, the detail. Uh, this is where uh, the construction takes place and the, uh, the detail in terms of connections and how the structure is going to be brought together. So Advanced Steel is a very powerful system. It's specifically designed for steel work. Uh, it understands and knows how to manipulate and, and utilize uh, different members uh, and, and also orientations and so on. Uh, you know, top of steel, center of steel, uh, it's got built-in uh, commands for connections. Uh, and for example, here we'll just add a connection between these two components. It understands how to shorten the steel uh, to, to accommodate for any weld preps. Uh, in this particular case, the weld has been added to that. Um, and it, it really just uh, starts to, to add the detail uh, that is required for a BRIM model to take, uh, take effect, or indeed a, a, a BIM model if you're uh, in, the, in the structures game. Uh, very powerful tools for um, you know, copying uh, components around uh, and, and for manipulating steel. In that case, we're just using a simple copy command uh, to replicate that connection across to other parts of the model. So very quickly, you can use uh, some of the built-in tools of advanced steel uh, to uh, achieve a, a detailed result. Uh, some of the more powerful and, and more um, robust tools that uh, Advanced Steel have uh, would be things like some of the built-in wizards or, or macros as they commonly refer to. Uh, and this really allows uh, the designer to uh, achieve an end result really quickly uh, with a lot of detail using some of these built-in tools. Um, there's a lot of videos online. Have a look at our YouTube page uh, and you'll see uh, a, a lot more detail about uh, Advanced Steel and some of the capabilities that the software has. Um, any of these um, you know, properties, this is one of the, the, uh, the wizards or, or macros, uh, and simply changing a, a property in here has an immediate effect in the model and you can see and make some design choices very, very quickly. So let's take that uh, stair, you know, we, we've uh, produced that very quickly um, and then copied that across to the other locations. So the software will automatically produce some of the, uh, the drawings uh, and in this case we're just going to choose a, a simple layout of a, of a GA and let the software automatically choose what size uh, paper that's going to go on and, and produce some of these views for us. So these views are dynamically linked to the model, any changes to the model 
will have a, an immediate effect on 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 the model views that you've seen here uh, and will allow you to do some revisions and updates so now that we've got a round trip why not take that model back into uh, advanced design or any of the other systems and again we just save an export gtc file Many of the companies that we work with like to get a, uh, dare I say, an as-built or close to as-built model inside of Revit for coordination and, and, and accuracy purposes. So we're just going to import the uh, the updated GTC file uh, that we created with Advanced Steel uh, back into Revit so we can see some of the more detailed elements coming through, giving you a good view and, and uh, uh, you know completed model inside of Revit. Um, so I hope that's been useful. Have a look at um, all the videos we've got on our YouTube channel. Uh, and indeed, please feel free to, uh, to get hold of uh, Greytech. Um, and indeed, watch out for more videos along the same light. Uh, our contact details are, are available here. Uh, and we look forward to any questions you may have. Thanks for watching.